back. Thank you so much for being here. So in today's video, we're going to be talking all about Lisa Ulrich and her newest release. This was highly, highly anticipated by me. I've never tried her lipsticks and I was so, so excited. I knew I needed to have them. The hype is real. We need to find out if the hype is real, if you need to have these lipsticks. So I'm here to show you three of her new lipsticks, the new lipsticks, and then I have another bundle, um, which, oh my God, this is so precious. We're gonna be talking all about this. So I have a lip liner, a lip gloss, and then four lipsticks to show you. I'm gonna be doing lip swatches. We're gonna talk about the formula, first impressions, application, everything like that, you know, drill. If that doesn't sound to you, and this is first time here, my name is Gigi. Thank you so much for clicking on my channel. I hope you stay, subscribe for more, click that red button below, and also come over to my Instagram, because over there, I keep you posted on makeup releases, makeup styles. We know, you, we get really interactive and fun, so, Come over there and follow me and we don't for there do let's start. Alrighty friends, so let's get started and this is my box. It is very pretty. Um it says Lisa and inside you get a lot of you know like just tissue paper and then the two pouches that I order. So let's go through those. I picked up two of them. The first one was this beautiful, beautiful pouch. This one is called Fantasy Florals, which um, she's come out with new lip glosses, lip liners. This one was in the Muse, Muse kit. So I got a lipstick, a lip liner, and then a lip gloss. This was actually an art. So this artist, I think she was talking about this, she met him and she fell in love with the art that he did. And then she asked him to uh, draw something for her and then she put it in these pouches. I think this is absolutely stunning and just so thoughtful. You can see the Lisa and then the detail about this. This is just so pretty you guys. So so precious. I really really love it. The next one is this little pouch that I um, you pretty much pick your own shades that you can customize your own and you can either pick a gloss, a lip liner I think and then I picked up three lipsticks which are her newest shades. She's given with four sheets. Um, I picked up uh, three of them. So Velvet Affair, Velvet Dragon, and Velvet Blush. I did not want the fuchsia, so I skipped on that one. So these came in here. I also threw in these pretty uh, stickers. I thought that was adorable. So yeah, that was also in my bag. So let's start off with um, just the new sheets that she's come up with. So this is the box, you guys. Everything about this box, every single detail about it, the gold, the white, is just so luxurious and pretty. Like you get the color name at top of the lipstick and wait until you see the bullet. These are my first Lisa Ulrich lipsticks. I can totally see why people love them. They just feel really beautiful and heavy. They are very, like, you know, just luxurious. And it is a whole experience when you get a luxury lipstick like this. Um, the, the packaging is nice and magnetic. And I was waiting to see this in person because I used to look at videos it is truly velvet. It is so, so precious. I, I just love them. So this is a dark one. I'm not gonna start off with this one. Let me look at Velvet Affair. Yeah. Velvet Affair is a more nudish kind of shade. So this is the one that we're gonna start off. Velvet Affair. It is an earthy, soft caramel brown with easy-going cool girl vibes. This wonderful, streaky toffee shade has neutral, warm, golden undertones. It is saturated and highly pigmented with a beautiful, true velvety effect. This is a Velvet Affair. Oh my god. I knew this was gonna be my shade. I just knew it. This is me in a lipstick. This is dark, this is pretty, it is sexy, so creamy, so comfortable. Oh my God, I love it. Then we're gonna move on to Velvet Dragon. 
Velvet Dragon is a muted, burnt, soft, rusty red with warm yellow undertones. Inspiration for this shade comes from Cinnabar, a pigmented that has been used for ancient lacquering of ornaments and jewelry for thousands of years. And this shade, you guys, is just beautiful. It is just like they describe it. It is yellow, uh, it is muted, it is a beautiful burnt red. Oh my God, this is stunning. These shades I just find are so, so pretty. And it isn't really a flat matte. Um, when you look at it really close, you can see that it has a little bit of something. It's not extremely matte, but oh my God, it is comfy. The formula of these lipsticks are a little bit thick, so they're thicker than, say, the Gucci ones in their matte formulation. They're uh, thicker than uh, the um, Charlotte Tilbury. This reminds me a little bit of Natasha I Need a Nude line, where you can have a little bit of a tug going on, but that's that's actually really good because this makes those kind of lipsticks long a little bit better on your lips so they're usually really long lasting so this one is beautiful let's move on to the next one velvet blush is a deep pink berry inspired by the flush hues of rococo artistry water gornabod and butcher a sensual boudoir shade with muted cool undertones it doesn't get prettier or more feminine than this from a flush left it applied as a stain or a fall berry pout saturated and highly pigmented lipstick with a beautiful true velvet effect this was a little bit less drying, the dragon, um, velvet dragon. I don't know, for some reason that had a little bit of more tugging onto my lips, but look at the shade. It is the perfect shade for this tub. I really like it. Now we're gonna move on to this one. I think I wanna do the lip liner first, just so I'm going to line my lips with Muse. Let's swatch Muse, ooh. So, so creamy and just mm, muted pink, kind of. So, let me line my lips. The Enhance and Define Beauty Liner is in its kit. The same tone and shade and the gloss and lipstick for natural look. My lip pencil are a gel formula that glides on smoothly and easily to even the driest lip. And this is so, so creamy. This shade is definitely my lips, but better. I don't want to fill them in. So I'm going to go over with the lipstick in Velvet Muse. Let's swatch it next to that one. An immaculate smoky rosewood, the classic neutral pinky brown shade every woman should have in their collection. If this were a perfume, the top note would be rose, the heart notes would be cedar and saffron, and the base notes would be woods and musks. Once they set are completely smudge proof, removed with an oil-based makeup remover. The original artwork for this bag has been created by multimedia artist John Jacobson. This makeup is 100% cruelty free. And this is definitely it. It's a rosewood, it is pretty, it is so feminine, so delicate. It is really close in tone to the first one that I did which is a velvet affair. So we're going to be doing swatches next to each other in a minute, but let's do the gloss. So same shade. Oh, it is pigmented. So this is that one. Let me apply it at top. Oh, and the gloss is so thick. It doesn't have a scent, which I don't mind. I really like no scented products. So this is really nice. Okay guys, so let's start swatching in the first one is Velvet News. You can see that these lipsticks are just extremely opaque. One swipe. That's all it takes. This one is Velvet Affair, which I thought was close, but no. This is more nude, more neutral, just less pink. Then we have um, this one in the shade Velvet Blush. And 
And then last, we have a velvet dragon. Let's uh, do the lip liner right there by Velvet Muse, which is so, so pretty. And then let's uh, do the gloss last. You can see it's creamy, opaque. Alrighty, you guys, if you couldn't tell, I'm just in awe. I'm just uh, so, so impressed with this brand. I'm so impressed with every single detail. I'm impressed with this art. Like, it's just everything about it is just so luxurious and pretty. And these bullets are just. I am very impressed you guys I am like I have no words this is just absolutely stunning the lipstick feel very comfortable really thick and at the same time really hydrating I love that they're matte I just love matte lipsticks but comfortable matte lipsticks and these are them I wore one of them for today when I got them and it just looked beautiful very long lasting and it, they sort of like leave a stain on your lips if you wear them you know for a long period of time which I thought was a really neat they don't really fade out weirdly you know like they don't make a ream weird nothing like that they're just stunning I am a very impressed a very happy with all the shades that I picked out I know these colors are extremely wearable for me these are gonna be my go-tos I just I can't already tell I think I want more I'm going back to the website because I need it some more these shades these lipsticks, they're just beautiful. They're just stunning. Can you tell I love them? My goodness. Alrighty friends, and that's it for today. Thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of these lipsticks? The whole thing, what do you think? Have you tried Lisa Ulrich? What do you think about the brand? Did you like one color more than the other? I would love to know all your thoughts and opinions. Thanks so much, you guys, for your love and support. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.